Hey Gemini, welcome to your December 14th to 20th reading. I hope you had a good week. Let's take a look and see what's in store for this week. God, it's colder than hell right now. I don't know where you're watching this from, but I am in Edmonton and like I woke up this morning and I look at my phone and it's minus 20 outside Celsius, which I think once it gets that cold, it's pretty close to Fahrenheit. So if you're watching this from the States, yeah, it's minus 20. Fuck off, right? Ooh, okay. We got a flyer. Let's take a look here. All right. Feels good. All right. Okay, Gemini. Things are looking pretty good. Um, I feel like uh, maybe right now and maybe in the recent past, like the last few days, um, um, Sorry, I'm just gathering my thoughts here because there is a feeling of stress. Like I'm trying to figure out where the stress is coming from, but there is definitely a little feeling of stress. There's, um, and I almost feel like Gemini, you've kind of shut out the world. It's like, you're going through your shit and you don't want any help. You don't want to talk to anyone. And that's okay you're kind of going through some stuff in a private way and i also feel like there's something here about you standing up for what you believe in so i highly highly commend you for that make sure you keep doing that there's nothing wrong with that you need to keep doing that and that might be why i almost feel like you're kind of tired of proving yourself to other people or standing up for yourself that kind of thing so um, I get it, but I do feel like you're going to come out of your shell this week. So just super, super cool. Uh, there was, um, just, there's the death card, oops, the death card, the 10 of swords and the ace of wands. Okay. I'm going to show you this. One second. Sorry about that. Okay, isn't this sweater cute though? Okay, anyways. Um, honestly, every single one of these fucking videos this week has had some kind of technical difficulty, a cameo from one of the animals or one of the animals making me do something where I wasn't even recording and I thought I was just like, God, it's taking me twice as long this week. Anyway, sorry. So we've got the 10 of swords, which looks like a scary card, but it's really not. But it's like things won't get any worse. The 10 of swords, there's a guy, there's a bunch of swords in his back. He's obviously dead, not having the greatest day. The death card, which I mean, the death card doesn't look very happy, but it's not a bad card. And then we've got the ace of wands. So what this is telling me this week, without a shadow of a doubt, Gemini, this week something is coming to an end. The Ten of Swords marks the, it's like, if things have been shitty, they can't get any worse. The Ten marks the end of a cycle. And with the Death card coming up right next to it, it like amplifies it. So um, there's something 
And it, I mean, it's like about time. Something is ending and it's a good, good, good thing. And you even think it's a good thing. And right next to it is that Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands has everything to do with a brand new opportunity. Like if you look at this, it's a hand holding this wand and the wand has like little leaves budding on it. It's like a new project, a new direction, something brand new. What are you doing? So remember how I said it's like minus fuck off here for the temperature. I'm just watching my dog. I feel like she's just going to take a dump in front of me. Don't even think about it. You can go outside for five seconds. You'll be fine. Don't do it. You'll be good. Oh, don't even think about it. Okay, whatever the situation is that's ending, it's fucking awesome and it's bringing you a new opportunity. So whether this is the end of a job, a relationship, I don't feel like it's very relationshipy. if I'm 100% honest. Um, this has to do with, I think, I don't know, projects, work, career, that sort of thing. But not only that, but when, when this door closes or whatever is ending you're going to have options too. So there's lots of opportunity coming your way. So I honestly don't even feel like it's one of those, something's coming to an end and it's like, oh, it takes you by surprise. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? I feel like this is something you've been wanting to fucking finish for a long ass time. So um, this is actually really exciting. And I feel like some of your stress is associated with this. Um, but it's like, you are going to be just fine. You're going to come out of your shell. You're not going to be in hiding anymore. I feel like this is something you've been waiting for. And then we had the chariot fall out of the deck when I was, um, shuffling. So this was the flyer card and this has everything to do with victory and, um, celebration, like, uh you're you're whatever it is you're gonna kill it everything's gonna be awesome like everything's gonna work out really really well then we've got the 10 oh another 10 such good messages the 10 of cups is coming up so the 10 again it marks the end of a cycle starting something new and this has to do with love and harmony so i feel like even your family life and your love life is going to get a lot better this week so I don't know what it was that ended, but fuck, is it a good thing? Like, whether it was, a, I feel like it's almost like a shitty job where you were miserable and you were miserable to everyone else and it came to an end and now you can have a new awesome job and your family's even happy and you're way nicer in your relationship and your relationship gets better and your family life gets better. It's like all good things. Another interesting thing coming up is the hanged man, which this is telling me now that you've finished with whatever that was, you need to make sure you reevaluate all your boundaries. I feel like you were maybe taken advantage of and stuff like that. And now you really need to be like, okay, it's a new beginning and you have to set that precedent. Like you don't want to go backwards in any ways and you want to make sure that you have your boundaries set so nobody fucks with you. And that is a very good thing to do, Gemini. This is honestly an amazing week for you. This is really, really awesome. I know you're not feeling, you haven't been feeling the greatest and that's cool, but things are just going to get better. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Okay. You get the, I think this is the best reading this week. It's going to be like, I'm not done all the videos, but this is going to be the best reading this week. We've then got the five of pentacles, then the ace of pentacles, the king of pentacles. Give me a fucking break. Three pentacles. So the five of pentacles is coming up first, which talks about like the fives are all very unstable and this can have to do with financial instability. So if you've been going through some financial shit, it's coming to an end because right next to it, you've got that ace of pentacles, which also marks a new beginning and a new opportunity for money. And the king of pentacles is a very grounded, um, very solid 
king. He is benevolent, he is smart, and he is the king of pentacles, so you know he got money. He does have money. Like the perfect sugar daddy. Um, anyways, um, yeah, Gemini, honestly, things are going to be really turning around for you this week. I am so fucking excited for you. I'm glad you're getting this reading. I'm glad things are turning around. And whatever it is that came to an end, fuck this is great. So money, love, opportunity, projects, everything, victory, it's all there. So Gemini, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. And how could you not? If you watch this reading, how could you not enjoy it? So you better throw me a like and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and tell everyone else to subscribe to my channel. So um, Gemini, I will see you next week. Behave this week. And yeah, that's it. So bye for now, Gemini.